What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium 2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the uh, Mahogany Town Gym. I think that's what it is. Defeated Price, traded a few good Pokemon from Yellow to Crystal, and uh, yeah, we, we did all right, I guess. And now, it is time to take on Claire, the final gym leader of this gym leader castle. Of course, she is the Dragon-type gym leader. And yes, again... I did trade some Pokemon from Yellow to Pokemon Crystal. As you can see, we got ourselves Mewtwo. It does have Ice Punch. It has the best chance to go up against these Pokemon right here. The rest of these guys, I'm really, really going to have to like make sure that I pick the right ones right here. Now, let's see. I do have Legendary Bird Pokemon right here. And there's one Legendary Pokemon that I kind of want to use. And that is Articuno. I don't even know how that... Wait, how did I get to level 50? Oh, those are the rental Pokemon. My bad. Okay, so let's see. I do have a Articuno lying around here somewhere. There we go. Okay, level 86. And it does have some good moves because oh, we are going up against uh, on dragon type Pokemon. And, well, the rest of the team is going to be a combination of guys that can use Thunder attacks and all that stuff. Now, I did, set, uh, I did send uh, Kid Thunder back to the uh, PC... Or back to uh, yellow. But there is one Pokemon that I, I did bring over. Another Pokemon I brought over from Pokemon Yellow. And that is Hydra number one. It does have two good moves that I need for this particular battle right here. Now, hmm. The rest of the the rest of the rest squad right here is going to be a little different. I could use Ultra Psycho. Which I'm probably going to be doing. So let's go right ahead and use a Focus Band just for that situation. And actually, hold on. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta be good with the the whole uh, the items right here. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Hold on, just a sec. Well, it's a psycho, of course. I'm bringing him over, and let's go with an item right here. We're gonna give it a focus one, a focus band, mainly because it, if it gets hit by, by any physical attacks, it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna faint right away. It's, it has very, very weak defenses right here. So let's go with Hydra. Hydra right here has a berry. Let's go ahead and take that out. And, well, let's go with, let's go with, uh, let's see, does it have, no, we can't, we don't need Mystic Water right now. And, of course, my phone is going off again. Let's see. Let's go, it doesn't have a Dragon-type move, so let's go with Leftovers right here. And, let's see, do I have, okay, so what is Ultra, okay, Hydra 2. Oh, we can't use Hydra 2, huh. Can't use two of the same kind of Pokemon. Never mind. Okay, so that leaves me... I could use this guy, but... Yeah. So we're going to be using Tank. And actually, let's go ahead and switch out. It's a, a move right here. Um, let's go with the Pink Bow. And let's see. Let's see. We could go for this guy. Yeah, let's go for Nessie, mainly because of what it has, and let's give it a Dragon Fang. Now, this might be a slow team, but it's going to be its going to be one that can resist most of these Pokemon trainers right here. So here we go. I'm hoping to discover something through my battles. And as you can see, yeah, not the best typings. Not the best typings. So, okay. <sighs> Alrighty. I have a good idea what Pokemon this guy is gonna choose, so let's go with the uh, let's go with the Pokemon team that we 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 kind of know what we're gonna come up against. So here it is, guys. We're in the Blackthorn Gym, and we're gonna be facing uh, quite a few trainers. I'm assuming with this kind of Pokemon trainer, with the typing Pokemon that it has, it's it's looking for a strategy to paralyze us, to put us to sleep, you know, that kind of deal. Same thing that you know Team Rocket did, and as you can see, it comes out with a Clefairy. Now, Clefairy might not be much, but it's still a tank of a Pokemon, so let's go with an Ice Beam right here. Come on, Articuno. Ice Beam. For the win. And that takes a huge chunk out of uh, Clefairy's move. And, of course, it does have Fire Blast. It will miss. Oh, no, it will hit us. Okay, so since that is the case, let's go right ahead and go with the Blizzard attack right here. Hopefully, this, this, this right here will freeze it. Let's go. Freeze it, freeze it, freeze it. And it missed. God dang it. 
Okay, so yeah, we're not we're not at the we're not up to the best start right here. And there is another fire blast hitting us. So this could be our last move against Clefairy. So let's go right ahead and go with a blizzard attack yet again. Come on, work for baby, work for daddy, and there it is. And it almost finishes off this Clefairy. So come on, miss, just miss. And wow, three fire blasts in a row. The AI right here must have the luck of the Irish and stuff. So you know what, screw it, Mewtwo. Let's go for Mewtwo. Yeah, buddy. Mewtwo ready to kick some ass. Let's get this. Let's go. You know what? Let's go for a psychic attack just because we want to overkill. So, Frieza, let's go. That's right. Super Dark Kamehameha attack, and there goes the fairy. That is an overkill. When someone pisses me off, guys, I go for the overkill. Don't blame me. I just, I just do that. <laughs> and here comes another Pokemon. Hopefully it's a poison type. Nope, it's Skiploom. But guess what? We do have a good move for this guy. And Skiploom's not much of a Pokemon actually to, to beat right here. But like I've learned in every single Pokemon Stadium game, do not underestimate the Pokemon, the opposing Pokemon. And well, there is an Ice Beam or an Ice Punch for the win. And yeah, she plays. She overplayed that one right there. So who's next? Bring it. Let's go. Look at this. And a Venonet is coming out. So that wasn't the best choice for her. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off with an Ice Punch. Okay, and Ice Punch nearly takes this guy out. And here comes a Sleep Powder, which of course will probably put us to sleep. Nope, misses. Okay, so. We got some life in us. Let's go ahead and use a Psychic. I think that was the... Uh, that was probably the worst move to use, but then again, it is super effective. So there goes Venonat. Throwing out the peace out, guys. Yeah, buddy. How could this happen? I prepared. I just prepared. And, well, there it is, guys. We defeated our first trainer with Frieza, or AKA Mewtwo. And, well, look at that. Articuno, you... <laughs> Seriously, Articuno. God dang. I lost because of that one move. That has to be it. No, you... Well, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. So, let's continue on right here in the Blackthorn Gym. And who is next right here? Another cool trainer. And this guy may or may not have some dragon types with him. I don't know. Come face thor uh, my thoroughly toughened Pokemon. And, wow, he's nothing but starters. Okay, so he got... He has starters from two generations right here. And, okay, so now we're really, really going to have to just, like, we're really going to have to, like, choose the right Pokemon right here. So we're going to go with this combination right here. It's not threatening, but, but they can be strong. So here we go. We're taking on the Cool Trainer with two different generations of Pokemon uh, starters. And we're going to start off with Mewtwo right here. And, of course, he's going to come out with a Charmander. Now, again... Don't underestimate the, the opposing Pokemon. It may look weak, but it will have surprises. And for us, here we go, Psychic Attack. And that nearly takes out Charmander, but of course, he comes out with a nice Flamethrower right here. And that right there doesn't do much. Okay, here we go, Psychic Attack. Or the win. Let's go. Gattaca. There we go, Dark Kamehameha Attack. For the win, say goodbye to Charmander. Now, seriously, man, you can have a very powerful team if you just evolve your Pokemon. I'm just saying. Oh, God, okay. Alrighty, so who's next right here? And, well, it's a total dial. And, well, I think we do have a Thunder Punch lying around here somewhere. Yes, we do. Okay, so... Yeah, whatever Pokemon he chooses next, I think I have an advantage over this guy with just one Pokemon here. And, well... Nearly takes out Totodile, and here he comes out with another... Well, here he comes out with his Surf Attack. And, well... Not much of an attack right there, so let's go with a Thunder Punch. Finish this guy off for the win. Thunder Punch. Like Tekken. Bzz, like that. Okay. Like Jin Kazashima, or whatever that Pokemon... Whatever the name of that fighter is. I mean, it's been a while since I played uh, Tekken and all that stuff. And, well, here we have another Pokemon. And he is coming out with a Bulbasaur. And, well, 
Let's go with the Psychic Attack, because Bulbasaur is a poison type Pokemon too. So here we go, Kamehameha Attack for the win. Super effective, and there goes Bulbasaur. Man, I think I just overkilled this guy with just one Pokemon. Now, just when you think that you, eh, you know, you, you you can do it all, you gotta keep a, a, a nice look at the at the gym leader because, uh, yeah, she is she's probably going to have a nice team. My my guess is she's going to have a Charizard in there, a Kingdra, obviously. So here we go, the gym leader battle against. Claire, and I hope she gives us the battle. I am Claire, the dragon user. You're challenging me? Yes, I am. And, well, she does have a nice group of Pokemon right here. Okay. So we're going to have to be very strategic. Now, every single one of these guys might have dragon, uh, dragon breath. That could paralyze us, so we cannot take our chances right here. All right, let's go with this, with that. And, you know what, I'm calling it. Let's go with this guy, just in case, okay? Alrighty. So here it is, guys, going up against Claire, the gym leader of the, uh, the Blackthorn Gym, and we're coming out with Mewtwo, mainly for support right here, and, well, here comes Ampharos. More than likely, this Pokemon's gonna be used to paralyze us, so we're gonna have to really, really, really hit this guy hard. So, here we go. Let's get it. Psychic attack, and this one right here gives it some nice damage, and well, here comes a thunder punch, trying to be physical with us right here, and luckily for us, it does not paralyze us, so let's go again with another psychic attack, hopefully this one will actually take it out with a critical hit, come on, critical hit, critical hit, we need it, no, not a critical hit, but it does take a lot of HP, here comes another thunder punch, she is brute force, and luckily for us, that does not take us out. So let's go with a psychic attack to finish this guy off right here. And here it is. Psychic. For the win. Wow, we needed a critical hit. And it got it at the last move. So, yep, that's kind of our look right there. So it's all over for you. And, well, she is going to be coming out with another Pokemon right here. And this one is Kingdra. Now, Kingdra is a very very weird Pokemon to actually take on we need to hit it really really hard and even though it is a dragon type Pokemon it still has water type capabilities and that doesn't work out ice types do not work against this guy so here comes a hydro pump and this one defeats us okay so that is that for King or for Mewtwo Kingdra is going to be a tough Pokemon to take down, so I am going to save Hydra for last. Let's go straight for Tank right here, mainly for the fact that it can it can uh, resist a lot of its attacks right here. And well, let's see. Let's go with a Body Slam just to paralyze this guy, and it's going to be coming out with another uh, Hydro Pump, and that's two. And it does hit us. It does. It does hit us hard right here. So tank two. Let's go. Body slam does not paralyze this guy, but it does take a lot of HP. Let's go for another body slam. And come on, miss. Just miss, please miss. And it misses. Okay. Alrighty. So we're working with something right here. Let's go with the body slam. And just like that, WWE style, Kingdra falls. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that was her strongest one, most powerful one, but the last Pokemon is going to be a challenge. This one is right on, and I kind of have a feeling she has a she has them equipped with something. So, Battle of the Slows. Here comes an Earthquake attack, and this one will hit us hard. And yeah, 71 HP left. But guess what? We got a sur a Surf attack. And it is super effective. Nearly takes out Rhydon. So it, whatever happens next, we're going to win this. So here comes another Earthquake from Rhydon. And bam. Hits us hard. So it was a good thing. A very, very good thing to have uh, Snorlax on the team. 
I knew that she was going to come out with some heavy hitters. Let's go with Hydra right here. And the good thing for us is that Hydra, number one, does have a nice amount of, uh, well, nice, uh, you know, diverse, a, di a diverse group of, or a diverse freaking, uh, you know, move set right here. So we're faster, we're stronger. Let's give him a surf attack. Too bad this Rhydon is not the one that we saw in the anime that does not get scared of, you know, <laughs> water type attacks. There it is. It is all over. And there it is, guys. Throwing out that peace sign for the ninth time because, you know, we took on Team Rocket. Yes, we got ourselves our final badge. Bam, 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 bam. And there it is. We won. We defeated Claire. Give us our badge. You're skilled enough to hold your own against the Elite Four. Well, she admits defeat. And there it is, guys. We've defeated the Blackthorn City Gym. And, of course, something's happening right here. The Elite Four has shown up. You want through the ranks to reach me. I'm impressed. We, the Elite Four, will face you from here. Well, there it is, guys. So, just like in Pokemon Stadium, there are five different battles okay five battles you can't see that but it's right over there we are going to be starting off with uh, well I believe that in this next episode we will be going through the whole elite four all five battles hopefully we win uh, we are going to do everything and I mean everything to you know make our Pokemon you know as strong as possible because trust me guys going into this elite four battle especially in generation two with you know a, a nice amount of new move sets and weaknesses and all that stuff it is going to be a little bit more difficult than what we faced in pokemon stadium one so thank you guys again for watching i will see you guys soon for another episode of pokemon stadium see or pokemon stadium two see you guys